Hi, I'm Sandra Button, Chairman of the Pebble Beach Concord d'Elegance, and I'm pretty excited to be here on the Peterson Channel. Uh, what a great museum and what a great group of folks that keep that all together. So shout out to all of you. One of my favorite places to go to in Los Angeles. Not just the cars, but also some great Italian food too. So I can't wait to get back there again and I'm glad you're open again too. I've been the chairman of the Pebble Beach Concours for a couple decades now and been involved with the event for more than half of its life, which is sort of hard to believe that we're celebrating 70 years and I've done 36. Uh, uh, hopefully I'll get to 75 or at least and we've got some great cars in the works for all those future years. Well, the Pebble Beach Concorde d'Elegance is first and foremost a celebration of everything to do with the automobile. Um, but more than that, it's a celebration of history, a visual, a, a spectacular visual of everything elegant about the car. And it's a great place to get together with like-minded people who think and breathe and do nothing but talk about cars. Being chairman of the Pebble Beach Concours means that I'm also chairman of the Selection Committee, which brings up one of the greatest joys and challenges of the job, because there's so many great cars out there and there's only 200 spots on the lawn at Pebble Beach. So a lot of times I have to disappoint myself because there's a car I'd really like to see on the field, but there's not room. And worse yet is the times when I have to disappoint a friend who really wants to bring their car. But more than that, the true joy of, of running the Pebble Beach Concours is celebrating the automobile and also getting to leave well over $2 million each year to the charities that all need the money here on the Monterey Peninsula. It's interesting to think that the Pebble Beach Concours is 70 years old now and I've been involved for 36 of those years so a lot of them and, and a lot more than uh, half my life. Um, over those years I've seen so many changes. Uh, great people who have come and gone. Luckily the cars that go with them aren't gone. Uh, a shift towards post-war cars. Fantastic new classes of preservation. Uh, so many cars were being restored that really needed to be, but a few didn't. So it was really great when we added preservation classes, especially the post-war class to, to pair with the pre-war class. Uh, the Tour was a fantastic addition. Uh, prior to that, a lot of the cars, you know, were a little bit, they were trailer queens, and uh, some of them even had little diapers around their wheels before they came to the show. And we kind of put a stop to that with the tour, and every car has to participate or gets to participate, and if they do, in the case of the tie, they get the judging advantage. So a lot of great additions to Pebble Beach over the 70 years. I often see people ask, you know, what, what's your first automotive memory? And it's hard to decide whether it's something you really remember or your parents told you. But I do remember that my dad in the early days had kind of an old Buick. I think it was the second car that he didn't drive to work but my mom got to use. And I recall that it had some rust on the back bumper and I always thought it looked like peanut butter. You know, running the Pebble Beach Concours is really fun, and that week in August is great. But I really don't get to spend time with people. So when I have a great time with cars, it's normally at somebody else's event. And I've been able to judge and participate in events all over the world. I really enjoy going to India. 
I've, I've judged there five or six times, and the passion for the automobile that's alive in India is amazing. And the changes I've seen in the last decade, the more careful restorations, um, it's, it's really fun to have been a part of that. I've been to events in the Middle East and in China. Sadly, some of the events in China aren't happening anymore, which is, which is really too bad. Um, but I, I don't really worry about car culture. You know, some people ask me, you know, if I worry about the future. I mean, I'm sad that maybe young people don't run out and get their driver's license on their 16th birthday. I, I would advise more people to go do that because there's nothing better than getting out and enjoying great cars. Well, I'm not really a race person in general, but... Uh, I was born on the 7th of July, so my whole life I thought, where am I going to be on 07, 07, 07? It was sort of a, you know, one of those lifelong things that you wondered about. And I was at Silverstone at a Formula One race, so it was a great way to spend that milestone birthday. It's funny that you ask about speed and going over 100 miles an hour. I'm obviously, I've done that many, many times in different cars. Uh, great events like the Copper State, where actually the police that accompany you encourage you to go faster. But I will say that, in my opinion, speed is actually relative. And the fastest I've ever felt like I was going was on the London to Brighton. Uh, downhill in a 1904 Lenawee, uh, totally out of control and the feeling of speed was much greater than in any car at any other speed. I've had the advantage of getting to meet amazing car people throughout the years. I remember my very first Concours, uh, a fantastic lady from Mercedes-Benz insisted that I meet Fangio even though I probably wasn't quite sure how significant that moment was. Uh, had you know, great times with Sterling Moss, Joachim Moss, ma many, many, Jackie Ix, many fantastic, famous people in the car business. But racers or not, I have to say car people have one thing in common, and that is insatiable curiosity. They never seem to stop learning about cars, and they never seem to stop wanting to learn. I think there's many trends in the collector's world today. Um, one that I really like is that I'm seeing people have smaller collections, cars that really all get used um, and, and very carefully curated, thoughtful about the history of those cars, the provenance, and really having a, a group of cars that they can use on different events and they get out there and they use them. Well, I guess, you know, talking about a singular mark to drive home, I think that would be so difficult. I mean, there's so many cars I love for different reasons. Um, recently, I was around uh, an Alpha, 8C Alpha. I thought to myself, okay, they keep getting further and further away from me price-wise, but darn, I wish I had one of those. The sound, the feeling, uh, the speed of those cars. So for today, I, w I probably would pick that. I'm often asked if I have a favorite car, and I have to say it's whatever car that I, I'm choosing to drive that day for the right reasons. Um, sometimes if you're stuck in traffic, it's great to have a car that'll stop and go with the traffic, a, a perfectly modern car, and so on those kind of days, a great, uh, a great classic wouldn't be much fun. But I tend to collect cars and choose cars based on how they're going to be used, and uh, whether it's for the Cal Melee or the London to Brighton or an early brass tour, there's always a great car uh, that I would choose for that. When I think of my car friends that are really steeped deeply into the automotive ho hobby, I, I find them all to like eclectic things. They like the history, fabrics, design, speed, the sound of the cars, the mechanicals, and somehow 
is sort of a renaissance person that, that chooses the hobby and each one takes it in their own direction. Um, and I love to see the passion for the automobile. My favorite events that the Pebble Beach Concours have, has put together over the years, and when I look back, it's always the combination of the cars with the people that created them. Either someone like Sterling Moss, seeing him on the ramp with 722, or Bertoni with the bats, Scaglietti, fondly putting his hands on his creations. Um, those moments, combining car with person, uh, really bring them alive for me. Well, the weeks are counting down and the 70th Pebble Beach Concours d'Elegance is finally headed our way. And most importantly, wow, what a great lineup of cars. You know, we've had 70 years of best of show winners and we're going to have more than half of them on the field at Pebble Beach this year. Alongside four great classes of Pininfarina cars celebrating their anniversary as well. We're also looking forward to having some of the best Porsche 917s on the lawn. Uh, also on the race theme, some great Millers, an early class of electric cars. You wouldn't believe the innovations they had well, well more than 100 years ago. Uh, so we're really looking forward to celebrating 70 years of Pebble Beach in just a few weeks. <laughs>